How you making, Bone Gang? And welcome back to another episode. Today we are going fishing out here in this beautiful Chico State Park in Louisiana. I think that's how you pronounce it. Chico, Chicot. I I'm not really. This is how you spell it. I'm not, I'm not really sure. Look how beautiful it is out here. Absolutely gorgeous lake. All kind of cypress trees out in the middle. Um, water's dirty. Water's uh, dirty all over this lake. I don't know if it's like this all the time. First time being here. But anyway, yesterday uh, was my first day actually fishing it. I was trying to scout it out so we can make a decent video. And the uh, only thing I caught was two, well, two of these. I'm not sure if they're pickerel or pike. Didn't even know we had those in Louisiana. But um, I asked some folks on Instagram and I got uh, both answers, but mostly pickerel. So we're going to go with that. But it was a tough fishing yesterday. The research I did on this lake says the fish in here are usually pretty finicky. So I, that sucks. Uh, I did as any uh, sensible uh, newbie would do. And I just followed all the boats and went fishing where they were fishing. And it looked like nobody was catching anything. I did see one guy. Uh, he picked up a couple of and showed me probably about a four or five pound bass that he had. So there are fish out there. But I'm going to quit talking. We're going to get out there and uh, go see if we can catch some fish. Come on. This is gorgeous, ain't it? So I'm trying a slightly different spot than I did yesterday. This whole area is a flat. I'm gonna start out here with some top water. I'm gonna do a little buzz bait with a little black golden chartreuse swimmer on the uh, on the back side of it and whatnot. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna work this area. Now yesterday the wind was blowing tremendously and it's already starting to pick up again today. So we're gonna fish this flat until the wind starts picking up. Then we're gonna duck off it. And those trees get blocked by the wind and try and get us some soccer lay and maybe some more of them pike slash pickerels, whatever the hills. I need some coffee. Oh yeah, that's good. All right, so here's the deal. Fished all morning until about lunchtime. Didn't catch a daggum thing. Figured there ain't no fish in this lake. I see a bunch of fishermen, nobody catching fish. So came back to the campsite, had me a nice lunch. Took a nap, and I'm like, you know what? I still feel like fishing. So decided to come on down here, and I'm just going to troll right here near the campsite. And I'm like, hey, what do we want to try this time? And I'm like, hey, I bought this little crawfish lure right here. Maybe I can get a sockle, maybe a small bass, you know, probably not. But I'm going to give it a whirl. So I came here, put it on the line, chunked it out a few times just to see how it worked. Didn't have the cameras on, and what do you know? Hooked into a bass, a decent bass. So while I'm reeling it in, I'm sitting here trying to figure out, do I pull him in the boat? Do I try and get the camera while he's still on the hook? Let y'all see a little bit of it. And while I was sitting there wasting my time thinking about it, he shook the lure and now I just still don't have a fish. So I'm gonna go ahead and slap this GoPro on my chest and I'm just gonna let it roll till the batteries and the SIM card, SIM card? Not a SIM card. I'm just gonna let it roll until the batteries or the SD cards run out just to see if we can get a fish. Cause dang it, I wanna go cook it on the campfire. You know what I'm saying? See, I didn't even untie the boat yet. It was. Just throw it right here in that little cut and lo and behold a second cast hooked into the bass of course my luck well yeah like that watch watch me get hung up look at this on freaking real oh crap if this lure goes in i'm going to get it because this is the only thing i've caught anything on well the only thing i've caught bass on i should say yeah i'm end up losing this little thing i guarantee it There we go. There we go. We got one. We got one. Look at the size of this bass. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Come here, buddy. Oh my goodness. All right, come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Don't shake it. Don't shake it. I'm on six pound test right here. Come here. Oh, I've been traveling all over this lake and he's right here. Let me get the net. Let me get the net. Come here. Come here. Oh crap. The net's all tangled up. Don't you shake it. Don't you shake it. All right. Come here, come here, come here. Oh, <laughs> look at this boys. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. 
Nice bass. Nice bass. Oh man, look at this dude. Dude, two days I've been out here trying to catch fish. Two days, and look how I got him hooked. Barely in the lip. Oh man, look at that. All in this little bitty crappie jig. I mean, a uh, crappie crankbait. Crap, I can't even talk. Oh my gosh, dude, look at this. That is a nice fish. <laughs> Boys. Oh yeah. We're gonna be cooking on the fire. Cooking on the fire. We're gonna be cooking on the fire. Yes, indeed. You hang tight. We're gonna go try and catch some of your partners. Oh man, that was sweet. Dude, I'm just gonna keep using this this thing. Maybe once we get a few in the box, then we'll uh maybe try an actual bass lure. That's unbelievable. Look, he bent the hook. Or I bent the hook. One of us bent the hook. Crap, I need to straighten that out. I mean, I went all the way to the north side of this lake two days in a row. Fished halfway down, didn't catch a daggum thing. And look at that. Dock is right there. Just caught. Hooked into two. Got one in the boat. Now I gotta calm myself down or I'm gonna end up putting this thing right in the tree. Alright, let's do it to it. Do it to it. Oh no, I'm the tree, you suck egg mule, you. That's what I figured. All right, come on. Take your time, get it back. Let's get it back. No, no. Oh, there we go. We got it back. We got it back. Ain't no telling on. Ain't no telling what we hooked on back here, no. Oh, what tree? Jeez. Running into everything. God dang it. Come on, don't you lose it. Don't you lose it. Oh, crap. What a predicament. All right, I like the way this tree looks, so we're gonna have to hit this with a few different things because I don't think I'm gonna be able to get up where I wanna be with this, especially not without losing it. Maybe I can throw a good jig up in there without losing it. Work the edges with this right fast. And nothing. Oh, oh, there's yeah, something. Here we go, there's another bass. There's another bass. I can feel it. Oh yeah. Don't you get lost. Come here. Oh no, that's not a bass. What is this? Look at the size of this perch. Oh my gosh. Look at that handsome devil boy. <laughs> Ooh, we getting ourselves some food. Yes indeed. Look at the size of that. That's a big mamu right there, boys. Give you a little fire in there. That was a big one. <laughs> that was a big old boy. That was a big old boy. I can't believe how much of this lake I fished. Didn't get a daggum thing except for those little pike looking whatever those things were. Couldn't get a bass, a perch, a sockele, or nothing. And then next thing you know, I'm camping, fishing right next to the campsite. Makes me wonder if I was using this thing the whole time if I'd have been slaying. I know I'm end up losing this thing because you suck. All right, well, since I had to come up in here to get this, might as well toss it up in here. Might be able to pull something. Well, I ain't gonna get it to be able to swim deep enough. <laughs> no, you gotta be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. No, not the tree. You. You gotta be kidding me. Well, if you're counting how many times I get caught in the tree, leave that in the comments below because I've lost count. You <laughs> be kidding me. Oh, this is ridiculous. I can't even put all these in the video. It'll be nothing but this. It'll be a 30 minute video of me getting caught in the tree. <laughs> Why didn't I have the camera on? Oh, look at this big boy here. On the top water. Dang it, I can't believe I didn't have the camera on. Oh, dude, look at this. On the top water. Yes, indeed. Well, guys, it is the next day. I, uh, I didn't catch any more fish. 
uh, yesterday, so I decided to come on and give it another shot in the morning. Yummy. Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh, yes, indeed. Oh, look at you. know what's up, water? Come here, big boy. Get in this boat. <laughs> yes. Man, I love top water hits. Are we filming? We are filming. Come here. Oh, oh, oh. All right, buddy. Yes, indeed. Delicious. Nice. That's another one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're making such a mess. Jeez. Yeah, boys. Whew, that don't deserve a thumbs up. Why don't you do me a favor, folks? If you haven't hit that subscribe button, hold that thought. Let me try and catch that fish. Oh, got another one. Ooh, it's been a while. There we go. Fish on. Come here, big boy. Well, you ain't that big, but I'll take it. That's number three for the day. Whew. Didn't think I was gonna catch another one. Thought it was gonna be another two and through kind of day. There we go. Ooh. Little bitty thing compared to the other ones, but this is this is about the average size I'm used to catching. But there we go. Dash tree. About to give up on them. It's sitting here almost 11 o'clock. I think the last one I caught, the two that y'all see me catch, was probably what, 7 o'clock? 8 o'clock? Something like that. Something like that. Problem with catching one after all that time is now I want to stay out here. It'll be another three hours before I catch one. Oh, there we go. We got another one. We got another one. Oh, look at that chunky boy. Oh, 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 come here. In the boat. Oh, yes, baby. That is cool for the day, folks. I was just about to give up. We was just about to give up and go in. We're gonna be eating good tonight, y'all. That's full for today already. I say already, it took us all morning, but still. Thanks to this guy right here. All I'm using is this gold underspin with a rage tail swimmer on it. All right, guys, we're back at the campsite. It is later in the evening. Uh, had to get some lunch, take a break from catching those fish. So got them right here. Check this out. These are the fish that we caught uh, throughout the whole trip, not just today. But you guys already know that because you watched the video. But uh, this is the campsite. I didn't uh, get to show you all it, but I'm about to get these things cleaned up. I'm going to put a little montage time lapse situation going on while I clean these up and a uh, brief tour of our little campsite because this thing's a uh, pretty nifty it's called glamping that's right glamorous camping it's fantastic stay tuned we're gonna light this fire and cook one of the fish on an open plate <laughs> fish are filleted so i want to cook a uh, bass on a half shell on a campfire that we do not start with a lighter so what we got here is a ferro rod that sparks when you strike it with a piece of steel like so hey and underneath it is magnesium which is a flammable metal so we're gonna give this thing a try i got this little grass mat bird nest looking thing right here i also have some little bitty twigs some bigger twigs bigger sticks and some chopped firewood. So 
we're gonna give this thing a try just because I've been wanting to try this for the longest time. Let's see if we can do it. I'll scrape some magnesium in here. All right, let's see what happens. One, two, oh, yeah, oh, oh, oh! Holy crap, it worked! Okay. It's happening. It's happening. Now we're just gonna keep gradually adding bigger sticks as the smaller ones burn. Hopefully we'll get uh, up to the point where we can put a whole log on there. Well, I'd say we were pretty successful. So we got a little teepee action going on right there. And while that's catching, that's gonna make us some nice hot coals so we can start putting on these heavier logs. So while that's happening, we're gonna come over here with these two massive bass fillets and we're gonna slap some seasoning on it, toss them on the grill, and then we feast. So let's get after it. I think we're gonna dab a little bit of slap your mama's Cajun seasoning on it. Oh yeah, Ooh, that smells good. Got to love that Cajun seasoning. Okay, now that that's on there, we're gonna put a little grill meat Montreal steak. I don't know why, just because the stuff tastes good. All right, we're gonna pat that down. And we're gonna let that sit there and just marinate while we build this fire back up. All right, well, we're losing daylight, so I'm gonna go ahead. We need to hurry up get this fish on, so I'm gonna spread these logs out. Coals ought to be pretty hot. Well, that's gonna be plenty hot, maybe too hot. You don't know unless you try it, so. Put the grill on. I think that's how it goes. Look at that there, boy. Got a feeling this is gonna cook a tad bit quicker than we want. Let me see if I can raise this grill. Yeah. I think he'd be able to. There we go. Uh-oh. The wrong part slide out. There's a way you can do this, I'm fairly certain. Oh, but I'm burning my face off. All right, well, we're just gonna leave it. We're just gonna leave it where it's at. Because uh, I think that's going to be good, you know? I think it's going to be just fine. Here goes nothing. Oh, yeah. Little sizzle, sizzle. Phew! All right. See you when it's done. too long it didn't look like it was done in the middle so we left it on but I think we might have dehydrated a little bit but that's okay we're about to find so let's see we're gonna take a nice chunk right here off the end Ooh, crunching yeah looks done oh yeah it's it's a, it's a little dry a little dry Really not that dry. Really good. Man, that's good. Come here, Tank. Come here, buddy. I need a taste test. Come here. I need a taste tester. He loves it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I'm going to sit here and finish this. So, uh... Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you don't miss any time I upload. So... I'm going to eat this. Till next time, guys, get outdoors, try new things, and make new memories.